I'm Jake Bruton, and today on The Build Show, I have Eric Ani with me, and I'm gonna force Eric to talk about a metal pocket door in the way that we were just talking about the metal pocket door frame. Let's do it now. For All the, right. All right. For, wait, for those of you that don't follow Eric, you <laughs> should be following Eric. Eric creates Build Show content. Eric is also Mechanical Hub on Instagram, TikTok, all the places, and Eric has a podcast, Make Trades Great Again, that is uh, very oriented as to what the future of our industry should look like or could look like. Uh, and Eric came to Columbia to visit. Yeah. We're gonna do a couple job site visits today. We're gonna go to Kansas City and see a job site that we have going up there. He just kind of popped in to get a sense of what we do and do this, make some content with us and talk about the way we do things versus the way he does things, argue over whether or not we should be doing things the way we're doing things or point out <laughs> where we're failing. And one of the conversations came to the, to the cavity slider pocket frames that we're using here. Well, so yeah, I came, we were, we were on the job and I said, what in the world? I've never seen a, a metal pocket door, pocket metal door pocket frame. door frame. Yeah. And immediately I saw that it was a extruded aluminum, mm -hmm. which was impressive to me because I just know the durability and the, like how modular that can be. Eric's a big aluminum guy. He's a big <laughs> extruded it's fan. Big. If you know Eric yeah. very, very yeah. well. <laughs> Always talking about it. Just not a lot on my videos, but, uh, it's very cool. You said it, it comes in a flat package. It's a flat pack. It's so there's a little bit of assembly. Yeah. But I, I, you know, being around construction my whole uh, career, I've seen so many just janky, not yeah. straight, not super durable, uh, wood pre, you know, pre-assembled kind of yep. frames for pocket doors. And, you know, we, this is a two by four wall. Okay. And one of our specs is company rule is if we're using this in a, wood version, this is a two by six wall so we can put framing on both sides of it or Advantech on both sides of it or something to give it rigidity and make it not wobbly. Yeah. And yeah. the other problem with all of the, the more cost effective versions, cause this is not, I mean, this is an $800 package, I believe for us with soft clothes on both sides. That's a, that's a that's serious a, upgrade. That's a lift, yeah. you know. Uh, what, the, the problem with the, the more cost effective versions, they're audibly, they sound cheap when they roll. Okay. The soft clothes are like a, an add-on piece that can fail separate from everything else. We just, uh, we've pushed to not use pocket door frames because we were only using cheap ones. You just didn't have a good solution until yeah. now. And this is a 1700 square foot house. Yeah. Uh, the other house that we just toured, it has some as well. It's substantially larger, double the square footage. Oh yeah. But it had a couple spots where they want to be able to open a five foot wide opening and leave it open. But when companies overclose it, but they didn't want barn doors, so we had to look for. So these are new to us. Okay. We haven't actually completed the install of any of these. Oh, really? We've hung a, a false slab and played with it to make sure we were gonna like it. But I had uh, a, a carpenter bring these to our attention. We kind of fell in love with them. I was visiting another builder in another market and I played with them on his job site and talked to one of his carpentry teams and they were like, they're the way to go. They're so if absolutely you're, worth it. If you're going drywall, they've got, what's great about extruded aluminum though, is that they, you can put, they can build into this frame what's needed. So you've got like a, a uh, like a, I wouldn't positive call it a back stop. Or a po positive stop. Yeah. yeah. For the drywall right here. You can zip or cut to this line yep. here because it's durable. You're not going to be cutting into the frame like you would if it were wood. Yep. It means that as long as we get things installed correctly to begin with, my slab is going to hang plumb. Yep. It's going to have a solid surface because those other ones are never straight. Yeah. We have this extruded aluminum, as you're a fan of, <laughs> uh, that, our, that our trim, our jam is going to get mounted to, that our casing is going to get mounted to. It's all perfectly straight. The install is like, on the wood ones, the install is super important. Yeah. But they're never going to be perfect and you're always going to be fiddling with them. A lot easier to make this straight and plumb yeah. though, really. And ultimately, so being that it's aluminum, you still go drywall screws directly to mm -hmm. this. Yep. Really, it's the installation isn't any different. Yep. You got your, your casing and everything just going on the face. There's not much to it. The, the big difference is the, you know, rubber malleting it all together and putting some screws in it to get it the way you want. After that, it's pretty much exactly the same as any other pocket door hardware. I would imagine it comes in different sizes. Yep, because I know that we have uh, a 2.8 or a, a 30 inch, yeah, 30 inch here, and we have uh, matching paired 36s at the other project. Interesting. I've never seen one before. You, you know, I mean, are they going with like pre-hungs of this for like residential work for something like this? Yeah. Or, yeah. Really? 
And it's the it's the conversation that we were just having as well is like, yeah, this is an eight hundred dollar frame where we could buy a wood one for two hundred dollars. Yeah, I get it. It's more money. But so is going two by six over two by four. It's more money. So is zip R over regular plywood or yeah. or OSB. We're not building. We're not part of the race to the bottom. Right. The right choice is this frame. The right choice falls within our budget. So the right choice is what wins. The right choice is what we do. There's there's a reason why all these things exist and that these companies stay in business, and it's because they make something that is probably an asset to the builder who's choosing to use them. Aside from the added time needed just to assemble it itself, I would imagine that flat packaging though, how it's it needs to be assembled. There's a little yeah. more time there, but that that type of packaging is less damage on site. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, you don't get it racked. You don't have plumbers coming into your job site moving things around because it's in my way. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, this is not going to, this can be a lot easier for me to work with. Yeah. Even, or work around on site. The number of times I've had a plumber or an electrician drill through the bottom of a pocket door to run something. <laughs> so when you say you to work around, I just think of, <sighs> ugh, ugh, I know the exact moment that that happened. Yeah, it, it happens. I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to pretend it doesn't. It's very cool. It's interesting. Thanks for teaching me about it. I've but never seen one before. I, I think the big takeaway is that it falls into that. The right choice is what we're doing. We're, yeah. We're doing well, that. we do that with plumbing too. I mean, not everything is, it's not all, uh, you know, one size fits all. Yeah. It really isn't. We looked at a really cool tub you've got over here. It was the right choice for the installation because that's what your customer was looking for. Yeah. It wasn't a product maybe that you were, it wasn't even on never your radar. Never even seen it before. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, it's impressive. Okay. Eric, thanks for visiting thanks, today. Man. Stay tuned. There's content on Eric's channel. We may even find some more stuff to shoot for me. Uh, till next time, don't forget to subscribe, like I said, to both of our Instagrams. Don't forget to sign up for the Build Show Network newsletter. There's two emails a week. You're going to miss content if you're not catching it all. There are too many contributors making too many videos to keep up on your own by just clicking through. It really is the asset that lets you prioritize what you want to see from who or what topic. It's worth it. Sign up for it. It doesn't cost anything. They don't pester you. It's really pretty hands off, just like, hey, we made these videos, and I like that about it. Don't forget to check out the Unbuild It podcast. That's Steve Basic, Peter Yost, and myself talking about building, building science, the business of building, and Steve's horrible sense of humor. Uh, and for that matter, Peter's <laughs> horrible sense of humor as well. Uh, Till next time, one more time, thank you, Eric. Have a good day. Thanks.